First of all, Alex, congratulations. You are the franchise player for Bay FC. How does it feel? Yeah, thank you. It's insane, um, incredible, um, a slightly overwhelming, but it's just, I, I'm so grateful and happy. I love Bay Area, um, so I, I'm very excited. Well, I see that you're excited, but you did reference on your Instagram post that you weren't expecting this trade, pledging your loyalty to Kansas City, which you had signed a new three-year contract for. What are the emotions and how this process has been? Yeah, I think there's just a lot of emotions, um, but I am somebody who focuses on the positive. So even though I was a bit caught off guard, um, I'm so excited for it. Um, I think that God closes doors to open new ones that we're not expecting because he has something in store for us there. And so I'm just super pumped. Um, I love Bay Area. I love what they're doing with the club. I love the people involved in the club. Um, so I'm just excited to be surrounded by um, Bay Area itself and then good people, good teammates. So yeah, I'm really excited. Alex, we are very excited for you. And I've had the pleasure to watch, call your games in the NWSL for the last two years. But there are some San Francisco Bay Area fans that don't know your game and are really looking forward to watching you on the pitch. What would you tell those new Bay FC fans about your style of play? Yeah, my style of play, I'm very possession-based. Um, I like to I like to be on the ball um, as much as possible, just spraying the ball wide, getting forward, attacking, defending. Um, I like to do it all, and I'm going to do it all for my teammates. And so um, I'm just looking forward to the fans that don't know who I am just to see kind of my heart and my determination um, to get the dub for, for them and for the club. So, yeah, even though they don't know who I am, I'm excited to, to prove myself to them and show them that um, – I was a good first signing. <laughs> <laughs> there were so many different players that they could have chosen, but they went with you. You mentioned liking the ownership group there, Alex. Uh, I know you have a special relationship with Leslie Osborne. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, she's incredible. Um, just the person that she is, her profession, like everything she does, I admire. She's um my mentor, my friend, um, and family to me. I got to nanny her, her kids, um, when she only had two. And then I got to be a part of the third baby and, and it's just incredible. Their family is just so welcoming and loving and supportive. And, and I have nothing but good things to say about them. And, and I think that's part of the reason I'm so excited to go back is because I missed two years of the girls' lives and, and I love them like they're my own and, and they're like my family. So, um, yeah, she's incredible. Ricky's incredible. And the girls, they are rambunctious and crazy and beautiful. And I just love them to death. So, um, yeah, I, I really value our relationship a lot. I'm sure those girls will be rocking a Luera jersey for Bay FC in no time at all. But Leslie Osborne, along with three other incredible soccer players, Ali Wagner, Danielle Slayton, uh, Brandy Chastain, this is an incredible ownership group. And uh, they were superstars on the pitch. So your relationship with Leslie, it is very personal and, and family oriented. But has she taught you anything about soccer or how to elevate your game or anything on the field? Oh, yeah. Um, she doesn't sugarcoat it. Um, and neither does Brandy and Allie. But um, it's such an incredible asset to have them as mentors and, and as friends, um, because I know that I can go to any single one of them. And if I'm struggling with something in my game, I know that I can go to them and ask for their advice and their opinions. And, and they're going to tell me straight up. Um, and I appreciate that because I'm a very straight up person. And I have high aspirations for myself. And I know that with their guidance and their help um, that I can get there. So it's it's incredible just to, to learn from them. Well, someone else you're going to be learning from is Albertine Montoya, named as the head coach for Bay FC. Have you gotten to speak to him? I have, yes, him and Lucy. And they are incredible. Um, I'm equally as excited to be playing under Albertine as he is to be coaching me. So um, I'm looking forward to having more conversations. But our first initial one was... Incredible. He's he's an awesome person, awesome coach. Um, so I, I'm very excited for this new um, this new journey. OK, can you tell us a little bit about what he's saying that the team wants to build there? Just because you did speak to him and them signing you as their first player means that you're at the core of what they want to build there. Yeah, he was talking a lot about um, possession. He wants to be possession oriented, but also no one to attack. Um, and I think I I do have that asset in my in my bag. Um, so just being able to, to be patient, um, possess, you know, and then when we see an opportunity, 
um, just go for it. And so um, attacking wise, that's the plan. And defensively, just, you know, do everything that we can uh, be patient, build out of the back, um, be determined and relentless when when we're under attack. And so um, everything that he he wants to do with everything that he has envisioned for this club and for this team, um, I feel like I can give that and more. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to to have this team built around what he's looking forward to doing and then also what I can contribute. Alex, we booked this interview with you and we were super excited. We did not know it was a BOGO deal. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Who is your friend over your shoulder that has joined our interview? Yes, this is Nico. Um, he's one. And anytime I'm sitting in this spot, he'll either sit well, with the boxes, he found a new spot to lay, but usually he'll come and lay on my lap and any anytime I sit in a certain spot. So I'm actually shocked that he's not on my lap right now and he's sitting behind me. Oh, but Nico. yes, it is all to buy one, get one with me and him. <laughs> <laughs> Nico is incredibly photogenic for this interview. Um, how does he do with the soccer ball? He he actually has little balls. He plays fetch, which is crazy. I always tell people he's like a dog in a cat's body. I look at him just posing. <laughs> he's so funny. But yeah, he, he goes crazy with the balls. We'll run after them, chase them and like hit them. I even have a video um, of him running and dribbling the ball. It's it's so funny. He's he's so funny. Alex, you are headed to another expansion side in the NWSL with Bay FC. You spent your last two seasons being drafted to Kansas City Current, who was an expansion side as well. Being with KC Current as an expansion team, what experiences are you hoping to take with you to Bay FC? Yeah, I think it's most important just being adaptable. Um, things aren't always going to go as expected, and it's not going to go smoothly all the time. Uh, but just being adaptable, having the right mentality about it. Um, we're going to get challenges. We're going to be faced with adversity, but um, it's the way that we come together and the way that we look at the situation um, that's really going to determine the outcome. Alex, it is now the off season as well. You've already determined where your home will be for next year, but how are you spending your off season in the next couple months of the winter? Yeah, it's actually a really exciting off season. Um, I'm going to be home in December for maybe a total of a week um, because I'm going to be traveling to Mexico with my family um, and then Hawaii. And then I'm also going on a mission trip to Honduras in the first week of December. So I'm very excited about that. OK, you spoke a lot about, you know, Christ and how he get, guides you in all of these situations and the doors closing. What, tell us more about this mission trip. That's incredible. Yeah, so it's actually really funny how this came about because when I got injured this past season, I had been um, kind of struggling with my identity in Christ and like my identity outside of being a soccer player because that's all I've really thought of myself um, growing up. And so it's just, I learned so much, um, just the way that he loves and what he thinks of me and what he views and what my purpose in, in life is. And, and although it is, to enjoy playing soccer, my purpose is to share the gospel and the good word. And so um, I'm really looking forward to doing that in Honduras, but also not just talking about God with them, but also learning about them, their culture, um, the things that they do day in and day out. So I think it's going to be um, an equal learning opportunity for them and me. That's beautiful, Alex. Uh, last question here. I know you're from Santa Clara, going to college there. How many of these Santa Clara players are you trying to get in to Bay FC? I, it's, it's so funny because I actually was talking to Julie Doyle. Um, she plays for Orlando and I was talking to her like, would you ever like go back to Bay Area? Like we could have a Santa Clara reunion. And so before this even happened, we were all having conversations about like Santa Clara reunion, like let's go. Um, but now that, I, now that I've like been signed, I'm gonna let Lucy do all that. Um, <laughs> She gets paid the big bucks to do that. So I trust her um, and her and her the people that she's going to pick. And hopefully, you know what? It'll be a Santa Clara reunion. Of course. Um, so great to hear from you, Alex. Good luck with everything. And Nico, it was a pleasure. Bye, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> No Thank attention. you so much. <laughs> We're going to have more Attacking Third brought to you by the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless Card. Reward your passions and earn points when you stay close to the action.